we are going to experiment today what is called is a squared breathing okay and this is a technique to experience first of all because we need to feel it how it is you know uh, in our body and it's about calming our mind so every time you feel a little bit overwhelmed tap and tap into your squared breath technique and see after a few rounds how it feels for you okay so it's about that you work with your belly so i like to put my hands in my belly just because i like to connect with that part the moment i put my hands here my mind goes here and i bring your awareness bring your awareness to your belly okay soft in the knees if you are standing up or just sit on your chair with your feet nice on the floor and hey you simply just do this you just breathe in you can breathe in for a count can be four five six whatever is comfortable for you. You don't want to push, you don't want to strain yourself. You want to find a nice rhythm. And if the count after a while distracts you, just drop it, just leave it, okay? And just carry on with your, um, with your breath without counting, the need to count in it. The count is just for, give you a little pattern, a little uh, something to follow for beginners, you know, for at the beginning. And then after you can drop it, okay? And you can just stay with your with your flow. So you see something like this. It's like a square. So you have to inhale and then pause your breath. Exhale down and pause your breath. Okay, so it looks like this. Inhale. I can't count for four, but you know you can count for how many. Pause for four. Exhale for four. And pause for four. Again, inhale. Pause. Exhale. Pause. Let's do a couple of rounds. Inhale. Pause. Exhale, pause, one more, all right, just take a moment, so we can stay for of course longer, just bring your breath to normal. <laughs> We can stay for longer, but I want you just to give you a little idea how it looks, how it feels, and please practice it. Practice it. You want to practice this. It's not only something you look and say, oh, okay, it can be good. No, 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 no. Integrate it into your day, integrate it into your, your experience. Take a little bit of time. Start inviting that communication, okay? Start. Um, it's like when you have a friend, you, you want to communicate, you want to start the relationship. Okay, activate that relationship <laughs> with your breath and you will notice the difference because it's very powerful. Your breath is the first thing you can access to when you feel overwhelmed. So use the techniques, practice it, make it feel good for you, making your own, um, you know, your, your own, uh, you know, things to reach at like a safe net or a, something that can, you can reach when you are in need but the thing is that if you're able to practice before that you are in need that's the good thing because you don't want to be straining you know without being able to breathe and then access something that you don't even know how to do it you want to practice before be familiar making it feel familiar for you that you know the practice the technique and then in case of need you can have it at your hand and it will come quickly but you want to you need to start really making it an integration becoming a part of you like your second skin a second nature okay use your breath the breath is the key to help you and assist you and you had seen with you it's within you okay so very good well done carry on the good work to feeling better